Hello, welcome to a new showcaser tutorial. Here's an architectural interior scene that we want to showcase. The models consist either of single meshes or groups. We want to make an animation like this. It starts with the empty room and the models pop up one by one until the complete scene is formed. Let's start by examining what we have in this scene with the layer manager. As is usual in architectural projects or large scenes, the elements are separated into different layers by category. Showcaser can take advantage of this. So let's open the plugin and start making our animation. First, we create a new sequence. We'll name it, for example, Popping Up Furniture. We open the dialog to manage the sequence objects. Here we have a button to load objects from layers. So here we choose which layers we want to get the objects from. We can use this tool to order the elements by object size, from largest to smallest. There's even a better way to deal with so many elements that we'll cover in a minute. But first, let's see what we get with this setup. Turn on the In animation. We'll use just the Scale function. Set up the start and end frame. And then press build animation. Not bad for the first try. For this scene, with a little tweak could be enough but maybe we want to control the object animations by layer. Showcaser allows us to create different sets of elements directly from layers. Let's see how to do that. Pick the multiple sets mode. This expands the dialog and shows now two lists and more options. The list on the left shows set names and the one the right, their elements. Let's delete the existing set and load the objects in another way. Use again the button to load from layers. Pick the desired layers, but this time use the option one set per layer. So the plugin creates one set for the elements of each layer. By selecting a set name on the left, it will display its elements on the right. Now we can define the order in which we want the sets to show up in scene. Since all objects rest on a surface, either on the floor or other furniture, I'd like the plugin to place the pivot for animation at the base of each object. Good. Let's leave all settings as they are and build the animation. It looks very similar to the previous one, but the difference is that now we can control the order of appearance of each layer and perform the animation strictly per layer.
Let's just add some overlapping and set ease out to make the animation smoother. Great. Now I see that it takes too long to animate all these small objects on the bookshelves. So we can use this option, animate objects together, for example, by similar size. And set a tolerance of 30% of similarity. Now it's much better. You can see that many of these objects are now animated at the same time by groups. This looks more organic. Great. Let me now make some final adjustments. I'd like the animation of these small objects to occur a bit earlier, so the whole animation sequence looks more fluid. So I will use Edit Animation manually to display the keyframes of the selected objects on the track bar. This way, I can move them to the time I want those objects to show up. And lastly, I'll do the same for these plants, which are the last objects being animated. Nice. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you in the next one.